Juan Manuel Bezerco is known as the football priest, the only person in the history of the Copa Libertadores to be both a player and a priest in the Catholic Church. And what he did on April 29th of 1971 in the semi-finals of the Libertadores helped him become known forever in the annals of South America's glorious football tournament. Bazurka was born in Spain in 1944, where he began playing football at an early age. He decided to become a priest, and even when he was studying as a young seminarian, he played for an amateur side, C.D. Motrico. After his consecration as a priest, he was sent to Ecuador. There, he continued playing football. Bazurka was a striker and was good enough that he was signed to a professional team, LDU Porto Viejo, in Ecuador's top-tier domestic league. He had to ask the church if he was allowed to serve in both positions, that is, as a footballer and as a priest. He was given permission and combined his parish duties with his footballing ones. Bazurka was a good enough player to gather attention from, in 1971, Barcelona Sporting Club of Guayaquil, one of Ecuador's great sides. The side which had, that same year, just signed the repatriated Ecuadorian legend, Alberto Spencer. Spencer is, to this day, the man who has the most goals in the Copa Libertadores. Barcelona had made it to the semi-finals in 1971, but they were to play against Estudiantes de la Plata, an Argentine powerhouse. Estudiantes had, at that time, never lost a Copa Libertadores match at home. They had dominated the cup, winning in 1968, retaining it in 1969, and retaining it a third time in 1970. No team had ever won three Copa Libertadores triumphs in a row before. Estudiantes had outdone even Spencer's former team, Peñarol, and Pelé's team, Santos. And on top of this three-time retention, Estudiantes had won the 1968 Intercontinental Cup against Manchester United. The 1971 Copa Libertadores semi-final game between Barcelona and Estudiantes was in Argentina at Estudiantes' home stadium. The stands were said to be boiling over with pressure, yet the first half was goalless. Barcelona kept themselves in the game despite attack after attack from the local side. In the 17th minute, as Spencer himself later described it, Barcelona counter-attack, then I passed the ball to the priest who when he saw the opposing keeper come out, kicked the ball and scored. A goal which would become one of the most celebrated in the history of Barcelona SC sporting history, in the history of the Copa Libertadores, and even in the history of Ecuadorian football itself. The final score was 1-0. 1-0 in favour of Barcelona SC. The goal is to this day called the Silver Achievement, and Bazurka was called the Father of the Blessed Boots. And while Barcelona SC did not go on to triumph in the 1971 Copa Libertadores itself, the fact that the victory over Estudiantes was hailed across the nation of Ecuador shows how important it was. And the result, a giant killing, a truly unexpected victory. Bazurco only played a total of six games in the Copa, yet his time was indelible, a fleeting moment of true glory. Shortly after the silver triumph, Bazurka was transferred away from Guayaquil, and at the end of 1971, he retired from football, devoting himself fully to the priesthood. Not long after, he returned to Spain. Later, he became a teacher, and he died in 2014. Almost a mythical figure, like so many other greats in the Copa Libertadores history, he lives on in the hearts, the minds, and the records of this tournament. A tournament which, like Bazurka himself, has no comparison. <laughs>